Hi, welcome back to Manohar Academy. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the variable scope. So in a program at a particular point, if we can access a variable, then we say the variable is in scope. If we cannot access that particular variable, then we say the variable is not in scope. So it is very important to understand the where the scope of the variable starts and where it ends. So at any given point, we should be able to say whether a particular variable is in scope or not. Okay, let's get started. And inside this method, let me define some variables. I am defining three variables, i, j, and k. After defining these variables, here I am trying to print them. So here you can see that I am able to access them. So at this point, that is at lines 13, 14, and 15, we say that these variables are accessible or these variables are in scope. But at line 10, if I try to print the value of k, I can't do that. And we are going to get a compilation error and the error says it cannot find that particular variable called k. So here we can clearly see that a variable is accessible only after it is declared or the scope of the variable starts at the point of its declaration. So we know where it starts, now we need to know where it ends. The scope of the variable ends at the end of the block in which it is defined. So to find the end of the block, start from the declaration and find the first closing curly brace. So here in this particular program, after this we have two curly braces, but the first closing curly brace is this one and the corresponding opening brace is at line number five. So the block is starting at line 5 and it is ending in line 16. Inside this block, a particular variable called k is defined at line, lem line number 11. So this particular variable comes into scope at line number 11 and it goes out of scope at line number 16. So in other way, uh, in other way of saying is the, the variable comes into scope at the point of its definition or declaration and it goes at the it goes out of scope at the end of the block in which it is declared because here we have only one block it is very difficult to understand that so let me create a block inside this particular block because this is inside this particular block we are going to call it inner block so inside this particular block let me define a variable called l and i am assigning some value 10 so once it is defined or once it is declared, it is vis vis visible and we can print its value. So here you can clearly see that I am able to print its value. But the moment it encounters the end of the block in which it is defined, it goes out of the scope. So that means after line number 60, we should not be able to access the variable L. And that is true. Here if I try to print the value of L, it clearly says that it is not accessible. It cannot find that particular variable because once the closing bracket and closing bracket or the once it goes out of I mean, the outside this block, it is not visible. It is visible only inside this particular block. Okay. Now inside this inner block, if I try to print the value of K, I can do that because the K the variable k comes into scope at line number 11 and it goes out of scope at line number 23. So this inner block is still inside this particular block and k is visible inside the inner block. For that reason, if I try to create a variable called k, I can't do that because here there is already a variable that is visible. So that is the same error you are going to get that is variable k is already defined. But because L is out of scope, outside this inner block, I can define another variable called L. So if we see here, this is one variable, this is a different variable. And both the variables have the same name. But because they are in different scopes, it is still possible to declare them with the same name. I am going to repeat this particular statement. Here we have two variables, but both of them have the same name it is possible because they are in different scopes. This particular variable L, which is having a value of 10, 
is only visible inside this inner block and this second variable it is visible from line number 20 till line number 25 okay that is all about variable scope i am going to summarize this with a video uh, with a powerpoint presentation so that you can easily remember it okay this is about scope of the variable and the scope of the variable decides the section of program in which it can be accessed so we have seen that a variable comes into scope from the point it is defined and it goes out of the scope at the end of the block in which it is defined okay so we know where it starts where it ends that means we know where it is in scope where it is not in scope also we have seen that the variable from inner block is not visible in outer block but the variable from outer block is visible in inner block because inner block is part of outer block okay also we have seen that two variables with the same name they cannot exist in the same scope unless we can distinguish them without ambiguity this particular comment which is in brackets which is in parentheses we are going to see that when we look at class design and inheritance but till then you can say that two variables with the same name cannot exist in the same scope but if they are in different scope the two variables can have the same name so go ahead and practice this particular exercise or in the main method start defining variables understand inner block also understand where it comes into scope where it goes out of scope and also you should be at the end of this lesson or at the end of your practice section session you should be able to say why we are able to define two variables with the same name and why we are not able to define two variables with the same name here so at one place we are able to define at one place we are not able to define you should be able to understand that if you are not if you are able to understand then we are good once again thank you for listening to me and once again welcome to manohar academy if you did not subscribe already please go ahead and subscribe and if you are benefited from this video please go ahead and like it also please share it with your friends so that they can watch it and they can learn it that is all from my side once again welcome to manohar academy and i will see you in the next lesson thank you